I went to film school and I was really interested in engagement, storytelling, how do we captivate people with media. Cinema and television were the biggest mediums available, but these days the web is the biggest medium available. And I was always really passionate or interested in how do we create those same effects that we create in cinema, like those Hollywood movies that have you know explosions and things flying around in 3D. How do we bring those same special effects and, and that same beauty to the web? And now with the new HTML5 standard, we have full 3D capability. I did a site for AT&T. You can arrange where your security cameras are, where your door locks are. And then uh, if a particular security alarm goes off, your house flips into 3D and that little icon starts bouncing right on top of it. Those, those wow moments, those moments of wonder, or delight, where someone's just like, oh, I can't believe it just did that. You know, that's really what JavaScript's concerned with. I built my own company from scratch. I worked did four or five startups. I initially started teaching for Adobe. I ended up getting offered a job at university. And compared to all the experiences that I had had in commercial, in the commercial world, the academic experience was far superior. I almost feel like it's the most valuable part is the mesh work that's created. And so there just becomes this moment in class where it turns into a collaborative moment. That's the experience that you need to have as a contractor. You need to know a whole bunch of people with different skills that you can all work together with. So for me teaching, I like to see those people, everybody getting together and getting into it and being like, yeah, we're gonna crush this bug. I, I really get nerdy about like the conversations that happen between two modules. They're like, hey, uh, what's their password? Oh, well, it's this and you know, <laughs> and how they communicate back and forth. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's a tough class. With a programming language, there's no game master who's like controlling how hard it is. Sometimes it's so hard you just want to quit. But the thing that's going to keep you coming back to it is if you really just enjoy solving little puzzles. You have to be passionate about not just the language, but like the thing that you're doing. Are you solving a puzzle or making it beautiful or making it delightful? And if that brings you back, then you'll keep coming back to it and you'll be happy.